Hey Jacket Nation, welcome to another edition of This Week in Georgia Tech Athletics. I'm your host, Nolan Alexander. Be sure to join us each Monday and Thursday as we give you a rundown on all Georgia Tech sports, all in just five minutes or less. A big congratulations out to Georgia Tech Golf, who won the ACC Championship for the third year in a row. Paul Haley led the way and was named the individual champion by shooting a 68 on the first two days and a final round 70 when he birdied the last hole to finish first. He was following the standings by Kyle Scott and Tyler Griffin for a top three Georgia Tech finish. Overall, Tech shot 20 points lower than the next team, Duke, by completing 54 holes in 831 strokes, a 3,300 par, and an ACC tournament record. The Jackets earned an automatic bid to the NCAA tournament, which will be announced May 9th. Georgia Tech baseball swept all three games against visiting Boston College this weekend. On Friday, Mark Pope threw another complete game shutout in Tech's 2-0 victory. It was the fourth of his career, which is a modern era record at Georgia Tech. The Jackets took game two 8-1 and won on Sunday by a final margin of 10-8. Up next for Tech, which is 30-11 on the year, is UGA. The series finale against the Bulldogs is scheduled for 7 p.m. on Tuesday at Turner Field as the Jackets will look for the series sweep. The ninth annual Spring Baseball Classic for Kids will have a $12 admission and all proceeds benefit Children's Health Care of Atlanta. Softball continued their impressive role by winning the 22nd consecutive ACC series. The Yellow Jackets blasted seven home runs in a doubleheader sweep of Virginia on Saturday to earn their 38th and 39 wins of the season. Caitlin Jordan hit three home runs in Game 2 to tie a school record, and Kelsey Wiesman also entered the record books by hitting a double in each of her games, surpassing Ginny's career mark of 46. Tech will host a doubleheader against Mercer this Wednesday starting at 5 p.m. The men's tennis squad made an impressive run through the ACC tournament this weekend. Tech started out by blanking Boston College by a final score of 4 to zip and continue, continue their winning ways in a 4 to 1 defeat of number 25 Miami. Chilly weather and rain couldn't stop a Jacket team in search of revenge of a 4 to 3 loss earlier in the year against Miami. In the ACC semis, Tech faced number 1 Virginia and fell 4 to nothing. The 19 to 5 Yellow Jackets will wait for their NCAA tournament draw, which will be announced on May the 3rd. On the women's side of tennis, the Yellow Jackets ousted Maryland in their first round matchup of the tournament by a final score of 4-1. The ladies then suffered a hard-fought loss to UNC on Friday. The Yellow Jackets are 13-10 on the year and will wait for their NCAA tournament selection. Congrats to Jillian O'Neill, who was named the ACC All-Women's Tennis Team for her great work this season. In the ACC Track and Field Championships, a few Georgia Tech athletes put up very impressive numbers in Durham, North Carolina. Leading the way was Kayla McKiernan, who set a school record in the heptathlon. Also scoring for Tech were freshman Julian McKee, who was fourth in the triple jump, and Leslie Njoku, who finished fifth in the 400 hurdles. Football spring practice ended with the gold squad defeating the white team 21-7 on T-Day. Sinjin Days ran for 112 yards and scored two touchdowns for the gold team. Defensively, Quayshawn Neely stood out for gold by recording eight tackles, a sack, and a fumble recovery. Congrats to our student athletes of the week, Paul Haley and Caitlin Jordan. That's it for today, but join us again on Thursday for another installment of This Week in Georgia Tech Athletics. Remember to visit www.ramblinrec.com for event and ticket information for all Georgia Tech sports. Until next time, I'm your host, Nolan Alexander, saying Go Jackets!